Hello and welcome to the 19th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy my series, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. And if you haven't, you might want to subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, where you'll find other content like our live stream of our Sunday morning worship services, our live stream of our Sunday morning Bible studies, and also our recorded stream with Mark's Sunday evening services, where he'll sing a few songs and have another lesson for you, as well as communion if you hadn't taken it already. So I will begin my reflections with a prayer as I normally do. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace you bestow upon us. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so what I want to look at today is a verse from Proverbs chapter 2, verse 2, and it's a short one that reads, Make your ear attentive to wisdom. Incline your heart to understanding. This is a seemingly simple one. Simple is just asking to listen. Those of us who have had children or have children or those of us who have taught children understand it is not so simple as it sounds, making our ears attentive. And as adults, we are in a more and more distracting world. We constantly look at our smartphones for emails, social media, text messages. We have billions of sites on the internet. Meditation practitioners work very hard to empty their minds. Not such a simple task to become more attentive to what's going on in the now. You may possibly be familiar with the ubiquitous TED Talks on YouTube, another source of our distraction. There's a memory specialist by the name of Anthony Medivere who recently did a TED Talk entitled, Two Easily Remembered Questions That Silence Negative Thought. He was looking for methods to clear his mind for meditation, to just get rid of all these negative thoughts that come into his head. Meditation of any form requires that one gets out of his own head and clears out those thoughts that cause distraction. The method he researched developed from the Sanskrit involving two basic questions that he translated as, are my thoughts useful? How do they behave? So anytime thoughts are clouding his brain, he thinks those two questions and clears out letting the mind know if they're not useful, we don't need them. I found some value for this in our prayer life as well, for our being closer to God, to become more attentive to his wisdom. We are sinful, distracted humans, and we often get distracted by this sinful world, either tempted by it, bothered by it. When we pray, we need to clear out those distractions in order to directly talk to God. Are we always successful at this? As we prepare our minds for prayer, as we think about what to pray for, we can ask those two questions, maybe a little modified. Are my thoughts useful for my prayers? How do my thoughts behave? Is it in a true Christian manner? Pray for an attentive ear. Listen to how your thoughts behave. Do they incline your heart to understanding God? Read your Bible, even verses you may have read over and over again. What do you think when you read them now? Say to yourself, are my thoughts useful? How do they behave? Your thoughts may help your prayer. Your thoughts may help you be more attentive to what you are reading in your Bible. I hope my thoughts today were in a way helpful to you. I thank you for listening and hope to see you again.